If you're thinking of building a WordPress website, you typically have just two options, choosing between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. What's the difference? Let me explain that with an analogy. If you're trying to find a place to live for yourself, you typically have a couple of options. The first option is that you can move yourself into a hotel. It's quick, easy and convenient and the hotel will take care of many of your daily chores. So your laundry will be done, sheets folded, bed made and even food will be delivered directly to your room. The hotel room is definitely convenient but the downside is that you don't have any control. You can't invite friends over, people over, can't move or change the furniture, can't install your own television or entertainment system and you can't even choose your own sheets. So that's the downside. The second option is to move into your own house. It definitely will take a little longer to move in, you will have more responsibilities but it will be your house. So once you move into your own house, you'll definitely have to mow the lawn, do your laundry, wash the dishes and take care of other tasks but it will be your house which means you can paint the walls, construct new walls, redecorate, have your own furniture, TV, music system, have people over and everything that you desire. Everything in your house can be set up exactly how you like it and you're still free to make any changes whenever you prefer. And that's the basic difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.com is the hotel or the hosted version of WordPress. When you build a website with WordPress.com, the hosting, the setup and a lot of maintenance activities are actually taken care of by WordPress themselves. But if you build a website with WordPress.org, you have to get hosting separately and install WordPress on your site. This might sound technical, but it's not. More on that later in this video. If I break down the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org in the simplest words, then I can say it's a trade-off between convenience and control. When you build a website with WordPress.com, you can go to the site and quickly build a website, even for free. But you don't get any control over your website, which means your website is hosted with a .wordpress.com subdomain and you don't get the ability to install plugins on your site which are like apps for WordPress. And even the themes you can choose from are quite limited. Only when you start paying for the business plan and above do you get the ability to freely install apps or plugins on your website. On the other hand, when you build a website with WordPress.org, you are free to install any themes or any plugins on your website. What you pay for hosting does not matter. So which one should you choose to build your website, WordPress.com or WordPress.org? Let me help you arrive at the right answer. There are over 1.13 billion websites in the world today and WordPress accounts for 43% of websites in the entire world. And a majority of those websites are built with WordPress.org, which means the self-hosted version of WordPress, not WordPress.com. Using hosted WordPress or WordPress.com is okay for a hobby blog or to understand how WordPress works. But if you're building a website for your personal brand or your business, you should probably choose WordPress.org or self-hosted WordPress. Most people who opt for WordPress.com usually do so because they think it's easier, more convenient or cheap to set up, all of which are not true anymore. If you go to the link in the description of this video and sign up for a Bluehost account, you can build a fully functional website for less than $3 a month. Setting up the website takes just a couple of clicks and you get a free domain name and a professional email address as well. In just a few minutes, your fully functional website can be live. It's absolutely easy and anyone can do it. If you can operate a phone or a computer, you can probably build your website as well. So what do you think? WordPress.com or WordPress.org? Let me in the comments. And if you're ready to build your website with WordPress.org, the self-hosted version of WordPress, you should check out this video right here where my teammate discusses exactly how to build your own WordPress website from scratch A to Z. I'll see you there.